Bye. So what do I think Kiboko be? by again I hope you watched my first part so this is the second part and we are starting off at Nairobi headed to Kisumu as I promised you guys part two is going to be about Kisumu County and the beautiful Lake Victoria the means of transport we used to travel to Kisumu was by plane and I'll be honest with you this was my first time ever traveling by plane within the country and um, the experience wasn't disappointing it was amazing guys this is a local flight can you imagine usually when traveling to Kisumu I always took a bus and um, that one would always t cost me like eight hours on the road <laughs> Yeah, so this was really a great experience. So we took off and within no time we were in the sky and 45 minutes later or even less we were in Kisumu or if you like Kisumu. So Kisumu has an international airport though most flights that fly here are local flights to and from Nairobi and Mombasa but um, I felt like it really looked beautiful yeah so Karibu Kisumu <laughs> yeah so uh, the hotel we stayed at is Acacia Premier we did some research here and there and we just wanted to stay in one of the best hotels in the city so this is the hotel it was pretty decent super beautiful yeah and this is um the hotel room we also got ourselves a suite for this one and um the rooms were pretty big you know yeah so of course here we needed a, a mosquito net guys if you're traveling to kisumu make sure you carry your malaria tablets you know to prevent yourselves from malaria and um, yeah, we even had a bathtub um, in the middle of the room, but not complaining. <laughs> and that's the bathroom. Yeah. So on the second day of our stay in Kisumu, I just could not wait to get up and check out the town, you know, the city and uh, the best part of it is the lake as you can see there is the lake <laughs> behind me and um, yeah the view was just perfect so about lake victoria lake victoria is one of african great lakes it is located at the heart of africa and it borders Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. The main fish found in Lake Victoria is Nile perch and Nile tilapia. Here are a few facts about Lake Victoria. It is Africa's largest lake and has a surface area of 26,000 square miles or 68,800 square kilometers. It is largest tropical lake in the world. It is the world's second largest freshwater lake measured by surface area. The bo this body of water is named after Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. Lake Victoria is about 400,000 years old. So enough about Lake Victoria. So on this day, we decided to take a walk because we were going to see my grandmother. And according to my tradition, you don't visit somebody with um nothing <laughs> so we had to do a little shopping here and there and we were at west end um shopping mall west end we actually have west 
and in Berlin so <laughs> but this was really um, beautiful there are cafes in there you know like Java there is a butter in there you know the shoe store and many other shops pharmacies um, restaurants and downstairs uh, which is what we were looking for there is a very big supermarket which um, supplies almost everything that you're going to need because that's where we got stuff for my grandmother whom we were going to visit later that day so yeah this is the supermarket full of stuff um, yeah just in case you didn't know <laughs> And as most of the fruits and vegetables here are homegrown. Kisumu is the third largest city in Kenya after the capital Nairobi and the coastal city of Mombasa. Kisumu is the principal city of Western Kenya and the immediate former capital of Nyanza province. Currently, Kisumu is one of the fastest growing cities in Kenya. It is thriving with rich sugar and rice irrigation industries whose contribution to the national economy is immense due to its natural resources as the epicenter for business in East Africa. Attractions in the city include Kibuya Market, Oila Market, the Kisumu Museum, an Impala Sanctuary, a Bad Sanctuary, Hippo Point, shopping malls, and the nearby Kitmikai and Ndere Island National Park. We are on our way to the village to see my grandmother. And um, yeah, it's so great. The roads are great, by the way. I'm surprised. And uh, my boyfriend is driving on the left side for the first time. So it's a bit of a challenge, but we are managing. <laughs> and also, and the roads are full of bumps, so you really have to be very careful. Yeah, but I can't wait to see my grandmother. It's been really a while since I saw her. So I'm really excited to be there. Yeah, so I'll catch you guys later. Police ma bondo penja tangomi o me bondo ka. Police ma bondo penja tangomi o me bondo ka. Ma yanda duo ko jogo ja era selo la la na me nyo ka gidu. Sela mama a uma sela nyaber. Sela mama ja era selo tie ka jaber. On day three, I decided to serve myself a huge breakfast, <laughs> guys. This is the Kisumu breakfast, you know. <laughs> a very good morning from my hometown of Kisumu. Yeah, this is where I was born. Like, this is the hometown where I was born. And it's amazing to be back. Oh my gosh. If you want to go somewhere that's super hot, despite what kind of winter, then it's Kisumu. Guys, this place is so hot. It's so hot. Aside that, I changed. I had to change my clothes like twice because I wasn't really sure if I'm going to handle the heat. So I just decided to wear something very, very light. And I hope <laughs> I really won't get burnt. Yeah, but it's amazing. I visited my grandmother yesterday, or rather we visited my grandmother yesterday and the rest of the family. It was great. So I was happy to see her again and I can't wait to be back. So as for today, I'm supposed to meet some cousins. <laughs> now this is normally the problem uh, with traveling on holiday to your home country because you really want to meet everybody, you know? Yeah, so I'm supposed to meet a cousin of mine with her family and maybe a friend and then we will think of what to do next. So the kind of Uber you get here is called Boda Boda. Boda Boda is a bicycle or a motorbike taxi. 
Hi. So what do I think of Boko Bay? When do you want to go there? Hey, do you want to go there? Ah. Now, what do you want to go there? Tulisha, we already booked them. Yeah, we already booked them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was my first time riding on a picky picky <laughs> border border taxi um yeah picky picky means motorbike so um this was refreshing i have to admit this was amazing until we left um the good road you know yeah and i was just scared i was like please don't let me fall down in the mud Unfortunately, Kiboko Bay closed, so we had to find the next nearest location to have some fish. So guys, we are at a restaurant called Le Pal. It's amazing. It's just by the shores of Lake Victoria. And the breeze is really nice. It was hot in the morning, but now it's bearable thanks to the breeze. So we're just waiting for my cousin. Um, we don't know when she's gonna be here, but we are so patient. <laughs> yeah, and um, I can't wait to show you guys the fish because uh, this is the best dish they serve here. You know, fish direct from the lake. And the long awaited time was here. I was finally served with my uh, tilapia. Oh my gosh, this was yummy. It was great. My babe had some fried fish. And yeah, that's it about our trip to Kisumu. It was unfortunately so short. Next time we'll definitely stay there much longer. It was amazing and we can't wait to go back. So in case you haven't watched part one of my Kenyan vlog, please be sure to do so. And the last part as promised is going to be in Masai Mara where I'm going to show you how we spent four beautiful days in Masai Mara with the Masais. We had breakfast in the bush and we saw all the beautiful animals you could see in Masai Mara. Be sure to watch that out, okay? See you, bye!